Agentic AI is here, but the larger cloud providers clearly did not see this coming. Let's talk about it. Welcome back to AI Insights and Innovation, the one place where you can understand the true application of AI technology for the enterprise. I'm your host, David Linthicum, internationally known AI expert and analyst with theCUBE Research. Let's get to work. Let's start with what's happening right now. OpenAI just announced their operator agent, or announced it last month, excuse me, and we're seeing an explosion of agentic AI development across industries. But here's a kicker. These AI agents aren't primarily running on the big public cloud providers as everyone expected. The recent earning calls from major cloud providers tell a revealing story. Microsoft, Azure, Google Cloud, and AWS all missed analyst expectations in their latest financial reports with Google Cloud's growth slowing to 30% and falling short of expected 12.19 billion. However, this doesn't signal a cooling of the AI in cloud computing market, quite the opposite. The issue isn't demand, it's where that demand is going. Both Google and Microsoft reported being capacity constrained, unable to meet the surge in AI workload demands. This capacity shortage has created an opening for specialized providers. Smaller, focused providers like CoreWeave are flourishing, while sovereign clouds in Europe are seeing unprecedented growth. These alternative providers offer specialized AI infrastructure, better cost structures, and more personalized service than the big three. For more analysis on this, check out Breaking Analysis, which is linked in the description below. The shift is driven by three factors, cost efficiency, specialized, AI optimization infrastructure and data sovereignty requirements. While the major providers are planning massive capital expenditure increases with Microsoft, Alphabet, and Meta collectively planning over $200 billion in investment in 2025, customers aren't waiting. They're finding alternatives that better meet their AI deployment needs, leading to a more diverse and competitive cloud marketplace. Remember that this is not just about movement to Agentic, but more tactical and smaller deployments on, in AI overall. The cloud providers were looking to get substantial GPU powered workloads on their platforms. Still, enterprises are looking for more tactical uses of AI technology, including small language models and Agentic AI. We've been telling you about this shift uh, uh, for about a year ago. So I'm surprised that many people are surprised that I'm surprised that they're surprised. I was early money on Agentic AI, having created a few courses on this topic last year and have been writing and speaking about it, including a video I did here last year. So what's been the shift? It comes down to a few critical factors. First, public cloud providers built their infrastructure for general computing workloads. Your typical enterprise application of the last decade, but Agentic AI, that's a completely different animal. These systems need hundreds of lower powered processors running independently, something traditional cloud architectures just wasn't designed for. Second, and this is critical, data sovereignty and security requirements are pushing companies away from public clouds. When you're running autonomous AI agents handling sensitive data, especially in regulated industries like healthcare and finance, you need absolute control over where and how the data is processed. Here's what's really interesting. Companies are increasingly turning to what I call distributed AI deployments. They're using smaller dedicated devices, edge computing, and yes, even going back on-prem uh, for these solutions. Look at CoreWeave. They just closed a $650 million secondary investment. Why? Because they're built specifically for AI workloads. The public cloud providers are still in denial. They're trying to force fit AI workloads into their existing infrastructure, hoping, hoping nobody notices the mismatch. But the market has noticed. Companies are seeing their cloud bills skyrocket. I'm talking 20 times higher than expected for AI workloads. Even companies like AMD are restructuring, cutting 4% of their workforce to double down on AI opportunities. The market is shifting rapidly, but not in the direction the big cloud, big cloud providers anticipated. So what makes Agentic AI different? These systems need high-level customization, predictable cost structures, complex orchestration capabilities, specialized hardware configurations, and traditional public clouds aren't optimized for these requirements. 
the future, it's looking more distributed, more specialized, and ironically, less dependent on public clouds. We're seeing the rise of AI-focused micro clouds, managed service providers, and hybrid solutions. Companies are finding that the promise of simple, scalable AI deployments in public clouds often come with hidden complexities and costs that makes it unsustainable. So what should enterprises do? Start with solid governance before touching a single AI agent. Create clear policies, oversight mechanisms, and security guardrails. This isn't optional, it's your foundation. Build your infrastructure strategically. Don't default to public cloud just because it's convenient. Instead, implement a hybrid architecture that balances control and flexibility. Your AI agents will need specialized environments and public cloud isn't always the answer. Focus on value and trust simultaneously. Identify workflows where AI agents can deliver immediate impact while maintaining security and compliance. The sweet spot lies where high value opportunities meet maintainable trust layers. Prepare your workforce properly. Create a dedicated to create dedicated AI champions within each department and invest in training. Your people need to understand how to work alongside these agents effectively. Implement clear success metrics from day one. Track both cost reductions and revenue growth, but also monitor agent performance and security incidents. Most importantly, adopt a think slow, act fast approach. Take your time planning, but once your foundation is solid, move decisively. The goal isn't to be first, it's to be right. Remember, effective agentic AI deployments, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Build your foundation properly and the returns will follow. The big cloud providers aren't out of the game. There's still the easy button for AI deployments, but for serious agentic AI implementations, enterprises need to think beyond the traditional public cloud model. What's your experience with deploying AI, AI agents? Are you seeing the same challenges with public cloud providers? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more insights on AI, cloud computing, and enterprise technology. Thanks for watching.